That was very, very nice. He can step back, and there we go. He's broke his right side. No, he's not. You know, like I said, he's got a great left knee and a super hard left body kick. Ishmael Lazar likes to come forward. He said he's going to counter everything that Daniel Sam does. Down under the seat, They're calling the airbag in Holland. <laughs> Brought over a contingent from Morocco as well. There's the left kick from Sam. Tough though, wasn't it? You know, he just took it on the forearm. But he took a hell of a lot of people out. Take too many of them though, Kieran. No, you can't. Left up just whistles past the chin of Sam. Good body shot there from Lazar. I think he's going to try and work the body, isn't he? Because it's shorter. You try and work a rib shot, a liver shot, as I like to call it in Holland. Daniel Sanchez loses his last fight. He's been a de boy. No shame in there. Daniel Boy is uh, one of the best in the world. Extremely good fight. Good counter knee from Sam. Good right hand in there. Just she whistled past the chin. That's how you can see he's working the body. Yeah. Good inside kick from Mazar. Come on, let's do it. Really nice him. shot. Wow. Really nice shot from Mazar. That's a great lift, Dirk, wasn't it? Heavy, wasn't it? Just right around yeah. the side. Well, you can see why, can't you? Let's be honest. Mazar just edging forwards all the time, over and right. And vicious uppercut as he stamps to the side. The shell shock sound of it. Yeah, I mean, there it is. He's taken, to be honest with you, at the moment. It's piece by piece, Daniel Sam apart. Daniel Sam has start working that jab and start firing that left kick with you, you know, he's famous for. Yeah. Got to throw it in there, fight yeah. this, ladies and gentlemen, so it may start slower. Daniel Sam, of course, a Muay Thai practitioner for before. He has fought five rounds many, many a time. Good shot. Sam's no good when his back is against the ropes. That's how I don't really call That's him. right. Put him against the ropes. He needs to be attacking, working those he kicks. He's a bit shot, doesn't he, Sam? I think he's surprised. He is. Doesn't look powerful, doesn't look fit. Well, no, it's rip, no, is it? No, that's not, yeah, that's not the best move. He just rips up the squid. Seeing Ishmael Lazar do his fitness and his strength and condition, and believe you me, he is very, very fit indeed. Ball in the belly for you. Energy forwards all the time. Ishmael Lazar putting and the sound under pressure. It's a skillful heavyweight fight, isn't it? Skillful yeah, heavyweight fight. Nice. It's a good round to give that to Lazar, would you? I'd give it to Lazar, yeah. He worked the inside left kick very well. He caught Daniel momentarily with a left hook. Good round by him. Daniel's going to have to start working a hell of a lot more. Start working on his legs and those thunderous knees through the middle. Yeah, against I mean, short man. I mean, all the time, Lazar edging forward. Start with sharp leg kick. There's a lovely yeah, yeah. left hook round the corner. It was wobble, wasn't it? Well, it made him take notice at least. Yeah, you can see it, it's getting caught on the ropes. Left, right, and centre. Mike just giving a telling off there. To Daniel Sam for work, jab and a straight right against the shorter man. What a story this would be, though, wouldn't it? As well as our ripping up the script, really, you know? I think people in the crowd are even surprised, aren't they? Because I'm not, are you? No, I'm we're not, not when we, you know, no, we've we know seen him now. Oh, he's going to round two, then it's a heavyweight world title here on Infusion Live.
Yeah, sometimes when you have a first round like that, you think you can keep doing it. There's our right hand. Yeah, the good knee at the middle. Looking for the right hand. <laughs> it's not often you see a shorter man throw a knee up the body to a taller man. No, like it's that. not. Danger with Sam if he throws the body shot, he stays down there too long, especially the hook. He tends to admire his work at times, so they're coming up to the head. Yeah, he's very, very powerful. His punches aren't the quickest. Yeah. Good left hook from Lazar. Tries that leaping left hook. Nice left kick to the body from Lazar. It's a pressure fire, isn't he, Lazar? Yes, yeah. But I mean, he's not in that way. pressurizing. Daniel Sammy is a giant. Yeah. Nice inside leg kick from Lazar. Good overhand right from Lazar again. Yeah, it's a good he tactic, wasn't it? Pushes Sam back. Good knee from Sam. You can't throw a lazy jab against Lazar because he will come over the top of that bowling punch. Lazar pushes him. That's where he wants you. He's really, really struggling. It's constant, constant, putting him on the back foot. Lots of damage, just move off, throw the left kick. He's got a tired team as well, Kieran, his body's a bit open. Yeah, maybe, you know, the first round has took an out of him, but Daniel Sam's a, you know, he is an athlete. Sneak right over the top. He maybe tried. a couple of those body shots took, took the wind Possibly. out Possibly. There's that body shot again. Balance. The left kick thrown by Lazar. He's picked up the points here, Kieran. Yes. He Going low on, Liz, uh, on Daniel Sam's working inside left kick very well. And Mike's screaming out jab, left hook, jab, left hook. You see why Lazar's slipping to his right, so trying to work that. Tries it overhand right to the top of the head as Ishmael Lazar bends and comes forward. Nevertheless, a good round again for Lazar. He had a two rounds under his belt, you know, against the champion. Gotta give credit also to Daniel Sam, works with the children. Some, uh, yeah, fight for Peace yeah, Academy. Fight for Peace Academy with some underprivileged kids. He does a lot for them. Yeah, so it's very much back. a family yeah, he head is person. Very, very family oriented. But look at these shots. Lazar coming forward, good shot from Sam. He needs to start getting some space, Daniel, and moving off. Because he's a hell of a lot quicker. Yeah, he is. showing tonight. The balance. The spurs are being taken away by the left kick that was just not delivered on the target area. And if you've just joined us here on Infusion, it's the heavyweight title here in Basildon. Look at Spurzar catch a flip away. The heavyweight title from the from the clutches. Daniel Sam. Yeah, round three or five, of course. Total fights five rounds. There's that belt. Lovely infusion live belt. It's an intriguing fight. It is an intriguing fight, yeah, because they can end it with one shot. It's the old saying, never judge a book by its cover either. 100%. Are they going to now? That was powerful, Daniel Sam. It was. He's going to throw that left kick again. There it is. You can see that, Lazar. That's why he changed, didn't he? And tried to kick the right leg on the outside. Knew the left kick was coming. Oh. Wow! Stunned. Oh. 
absolutely stunned. Amazing left hook. Absolutely stunning. He's been invaded now by the ring, in the ring. By the Moroccans. Well, I mean, that was just incredible. You can just see it here, Vinny. You can just see it here now, Vinny. Oh! Absolutely left thunderous hook. left hook. And there he is again, Vin. Look. Oh, oh. Pure, perfect shots. What a performance. I told you, don't judge a book by its cover. You know? Perfect uh, shots. Just cut the giant down with a great left hook. He timed it on the left knee. Daniel Sam's obviously shell shots. Didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, they've been in ring invasion at the moment. The Moroccans are very, very happy indeed. He predicted that, Kieran. He did, yeah. I tell you what, he's been, I tell you what, Kieran, there's been some upsets tonight, hasn't there? There has been, yeah. Wendell Roche getting stopped and Daniel Sam. I didn't think that was going to happen either. I'm not good at predicting. He's very good at predicting stuff, mate. <laughs> Oh, cheers. You get all stoppages tonight. All stoppages wow. except for Regis Sugden. Oh, incredible. Well, you've done a great job, Kieran. There's our own very own Jimmy Kitchen. Results of this we'll take you with me early on. At this time, we would like to award our Infusion Fighter of the Night check to the Infusion Fighter of the Night, which is Andrew Tate. You take it. You served that as well. Yeah, he did. Kovatate, please come to the ring to collect your well, I hope you've enjoyed the ladies and gentlemen on Fox Nation and night seen the art of kickboxing as well. Give you a little bit of a taster of what we produce here on Infusion. And um, it's been a nice one. Shocks, upsets, knockouts. Great clashes between two here. Warriors. There's Andrew Tate. Served it as well, wasn't it? Yeah, brilliant. But what a shock, what a, what a fairy story for Ishmael Lazar. He was teased for a very, very many years, calling him airbag and chubby and all that sort of stuff. You know, and he's... And ladies and gentlemen, he has, isn't he? After 36 seconds of the be honest, third round, you know, would, 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 would you insult him? No way. Not a chance. Infusion Heavyweight Champion! Brilliant, oh, absolutely superb. Ishmael, Ishmael Lazar, Kieran, what a show. Look, you know, I couldn't be happier to see the matchmaker here on Infusion. Some of the fights have been fantastic, haven't they? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And please show your appreciation. Daniel will be back as Shorby. Daniel! You know, uh, Shots at the first round of the triple hour. So anyway, you get caught. <laughs> when you invaded the ring, very, very happy. Morocco, a bit of Moroccan magic comes to Basildon. Absolutely. Only his 12th fight. <laughs> Brilliant performance. What a good show. Hey, hey, Ismail Azad. Hey, you know Ismail Azad, next champion. Everybody. Yeah. 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 Very, very, very passionate people. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Extremely thank you good very fighters. much for coming out this evening. I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't enjoy that fight between Moj, Jiraiya, and Siphon Oskan, he must be bananas. Look at the height difference here. Physique difference. Doesn't matter. It does it's not, not what your body looks like, it what, it's what you can do with it. Is that what you tell yourself? That's what I tell myself, Julie will me having a fantastic physique. Good looks and charm. Anyway, moving swiftly on. So in the red shorts, some at Finesse from Belgium. And Ishmael, the star Lazar. From Morocco from the Siam Gym, five three minute rounds of heavyweight action here on Infusion Live in Eindhoven. Round one then. And Ishmael Lazar is the current Infusion World Champion at the moment. I know Thomas really, really wants this. There you go, left up already has landed on Thomas and a hard leg kick to follow. Wants to fight everyone, Ishmael. Wants to fight everyone yep. in the heavyweight division. Doesn't he back doesn't down from care. anyone. No. And he's unbeaten as well. Yeah. He just connects so flush, doesn't he, with his shots? Oh, 
Oh, big left hook, right hook. Bombing him. He's bombing him. Thomas oh, is in trouble. Ishmael is fit as well. The, the kid that was picked on at school is starting to smash holes into the nest day. Oh! Monstrous shots going in. I'd be surprised if he comes back from this. Eight count. Give him an eight count. Look at the reddening on Vanessa's face. That He's been has hit by surprised a train. him. That has surprised him. The kid that was picked on at school. See that he was laughed just... at. He was called names. He has a point to prove. And he's doing it right now. Oh, nice body shot. Beautiful left up to the body. Yeah, Thomas Vanessa is screaming. Looks like a bit of a shock, doesn't he, Jules? Looks like he's done five rounds already. Just hoping Lazar will wear himself out, but he's Reading fair. in on the face of Vanessa, heavy breathing. This kid's not going five rounds, no way. Big left hook. Good left hook. Big shot. Looks for the jumping knee. Don't need to try that, does he? He does need to come down in weight, though, doesn't he, Jules? That's unhealthy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you say that, but he is fair. But yes, it is unhealthy. It is unhealthy. You can't, you can't deny it. Blood coming from... He's got to watch the counters from Vanessa. He's being pushed around on the ropes, isn't he? Yeah. Took a right hand there. Ishmael, and a knee. And a knee. If you can weather the storm here, Vanessa. You never know they're heavyweights. No, you don't. You don't. Good shot from Vanessa. Nice left up. Oh, big body well, shot. The wrong one. Well, tough round for Vanessa. Well, the crowd are going mad. Oh, no. Lazar just giving a little wink. Lazar just bundles forward, doesn't he? Using his. He's weight. But he has put weight on, hasn't he? And I'd like to see him, I would like to see him lose it. He's only a young kid, and he's only uh, only 20 as well. Yeah, 20. But his clubbing shots really do hurt on the head. You can see Vanessa struggling with Lazar, but you know what, Julie? The later this goes, the better it is, obviously, Vanessa. I think he's been shocked by Lazar. So you're actually in there with Lazar. I'm sure other heavyweights think that they've got a chance against him. So we'll see anyway, you know. <laughs> he's all sorts. You know what? I'll have to be honest. He's all sorts goes on, a, on Infusion Live. I do not know what's going to happen. I never do. It's a strange concoction of madness violence and fun. So, round two then of this very exciting contest here. The lovable, likeable Ishmael, the star Lazar versus Tom of And he'll come forward. Seems staring. Our friend. I'm interested to see what Vanessa's corners told him to do. Bustles in, Lazar. He does. It's a good right hand. George Foreman like when he throws it. Slow, but when it hits, has visible effect. It's a hard left hook, that. Really, really hard. Just keeping Thomas backed up against the ropes. Thomas, obviously a big fan of weight training, Julie. You can see that. You don't get that yeah. from just eating all your tea, do you? But then weight you know, training's not well, good for Thomas. Ishmael does, doesn't he? He's eating all his tea and everybody else's. 
the good body shot. You know, Mozart. Holding more muscle can slow you down in this game. This is a, a five round contest. We're only in the second round. Good body shot there from Lazar. Like to see him kick them leg kicks when he throws them, have good effect. Schmatt's taking his foot off the gas. The thing is, he gets you to fight his pace as well, Julie. That was a good right hand piercing the guard through Vanessa. Oh, nice left hook. Oh, nice Good up, up well thrown. Nice knee back from Vaneste. Bouncing shots off the chin of Vaneste. He's not wobbled, has he, Joe? No, he's really, really tough. He's taking them, isn't he? Oh, it's a nice right hand. And by the body. Punch. Taking jabs as well. He's still winning, isn't he? He is. But Vanessa coming back a little bit this round. Yeah, he's got to um Vanessa certainly got to just weather this and then take it into the later rounds, but he looks a bit tired himself. I mean that lumbering towards the power that Ishmael got hitting you as well, like them shots. Oh, it just slows you down. You don't get a nosebleed in a red face like that for nothing, do you, you know? It's power. Yeah. Good body shot. Yeah, we've got 115 kilograms. Both breathing very heavy. And More so coming from Vanessa. Yeah, and 125 kilograms clashing in the center. 240 kilograms colliding. It's a lot of weight, isn't it? Not off. I wouldn't like to be in between them, getting hit by that. Who wouldn't find you again? <laughs> I'd be squashed. Never find you, Julie. Here's some of the shots. An ambitious left up to the body, then an overhand right from Lazar. Uppercut and hook. Just trying to club his shots in. Knee, knee misses from Vanessa. Five rounds is a lot though, isn't it? These it is. guys. Yeah, definitely. A knee attempt there from Vanessa. I know we said it time and time again tonight, but it's sold out venue here. Super, super hot. Does um, play havoc as well for the fighters. Will drain their energy a lot faster. So we'll see you then, round three. This heavyweight clash. Oh, strong body kick from Vanessa. Starting the round. Nice takedown. Nice takedown from the top. Good technique. Lumbering forward all the time, the Moroccan. Oh, big left hook as well, catching Thomas really on the chin. Really clubbing, clubbing, isn't he? When he throws his shots. So good, oh, right hand. Oh They're nice shots. They are big shots. Vanessa won't be able to take many more of those. He's going to be in trouble. Nothing wrong with the chin of Vanessa, let me tell you. Oh, my goodness. Really big shots are just above us. You try and keep him down. You try and hold on to him, but he clubs you with those almost like tree trunk arms of his. Oh, his smell. such an uppercut. Good uppercut. He's tough, isn't he? Super tough. Took really big shots, Sam. Um. Left up. And the left knee up the middle. So much 
much blood coming from the mask nose. of blood on the face of Thomas Vaness. There's our referee takes him back to the corner to wipe some of that off. Is he as a showing? He smell as that blood all over his legs. Oh, he's in danger when he's in that corner. Nice knee from Thomas. Took it though, didn't he? Takes it. Ishmael oh, just takes it. Bigger uppercuts from Ishmael. Lumbering for it all the time. Never takes a back step. You hit him, it just bounces off him, Lazar, doesn't it? So tiring fighting him, Jules. Must be awful. Good knee from Finster. So good for those uppercuts, Lazar. Oh, that was a big left hook. Julie, and again. Have you lost like, another 10 kilos? It'd be so much faster, it'd be so fast. much, so much more devastating, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean we've seen him lighter than this, haven't we? Yeah, we have. He won a lot of money on GFC, didn't he? In here. Yes. He spent it on KFC. Yeah, he's been out partying, enjoying <laughs> the good life. He took a right hand, but he tell you what, he's still, you know, it's better than me to do this, you know, to go in there and take the shots. And keep going forward, 20 years of age. He has got a big future, and he's winning this handily. Three rounds down. I mean, Thomas in the blue corner is why he's taken so many big shots, but he's still in the game, isn't he? You know, he must be, and Vanessa must be thinking, now then, in this round, I'll be able to do this and do that, but he just can't because no. he's just lumbering forward all the time, isn't he? He smell, and he's hurting him. Every time he throws him, yeah. he does hurt. Just seeing the slow-mos here, just connecting with the punches. And you think he's tired, and then all of a sudden, he's got him pinned in the corner. And imagine all that weight going into the shot. Oh, so as we go into round four then, this heavyweight class here in Eindhoven on the Fusion Live. Just join us, I'm Vinny Shawman and with me is Julie Kitchen, the Queen of Muay Thai. 14 what time world champion, very experienced campaigner herself. Now retired. Aren't you just? I am, yes. So just missed an amazing clash as well between Mohamed Jiroya and Saifan Oskan. We've just very, very good fights in this. Had an amazing show tonight to open 2000. All of them have been good. You know, no, I'm not going to lie, not all of them have been good, but the last three fights yeah. have been good. And uh, Ishmael and Vanessa is not over yet. Round four. Never know what can happen. That's better. Strong. Strong kicks from Lazar. Wobble Thomas oh, that, again. That now. hurt him. That's hurting him. Just brings the arm across his throat because he's shorter. Pushes on the windpipe. Right? Needs to come forward. You smell. Great this is where, humor. see, Julie, this is where 15, 10 or 15 kilos off him, and it, it's maybe smashing people like the next day. It's a bit. Nice you know what I mean? Yeah. He'll be sharper, faster, fitter. Talent is talent, no matter what size it is, you know? But he'd just be so much better. Lumbering forward all the time. Took a good shot there. Oh, yes. Renesté threw it. It was a good shot from Renesté there. Let's face it, Julie, he couldn't fight heavyweight like Bada Harry with his like this, could he? He couldn't. No. He wouldn't be able to do it, no way. If he's got ambitions to fight them guys and be in the mix with the likes of uh, Errol Zimmerman, etc., he can't have his hands down like that and he has to be in better shape. So it's just glancing up at the clock there. As I said, it's super hot in here tonight. Taking a lot of shots as well as giving. He just can't keep him off though, can he? No, he's got to get off those ropes. 
You think Lazar's tired, and then all of a sudden he's unloading his punches on you. He's coming predictable, though, isn't he, Lazar? He's becoming predictable. What he's throwing. He needs to take the standing leg too long. It's nice of him, wasn't it? He's a really gulping the air, isn't he? Yeah. Nice shot. This is better. I mean, Vanessa is a tough guy, you know, and he obviously keeps himself very, very well. But he's, he's tired because he's getting clubbed and he can't keep this kid off. He's so strong. Taking loads of shots. Lazar really pushing those shots through. We can hear him. Stands coming a bit samey though now. Stands getting a bit samey. It's round four. Like I said. I am actually surprised it's hit round five being oh, heavyweight. You know, because, I'll tell you why. Ismail's let it go to round four. You know why? Because he's not, he's not in, he's not in good condition. If he was in better condition, people like Thomas Nolders is back to him, would be wiped out pretty quickly. Because he has got the explosion from the talent, but he's just, he's not disciplined in the kitchen department, is he? Yeah. It's ev evident. I'm not. I like Ishmael. I'm not saying it's a, 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 to be a horrible person. It's a nice kid. But you know, he's unhealthy. He's 20 years of age, and he has got talent. You know, but I'd like to, I'd like to see him just. Take his diet a little bit more seriously. When he takes his diet a little bit more seri seriously, he can start taking people out instead of taking him out to dinner. So we'll see then, round five. And it's been a one-sided drubbing, really, by... Ishmael Lazar, who I believe could be one, could be a primary heavyweight if he got his his act together in certain other departments. Because there's no doubt that he's got a good chin, he can bang, and he's got talent. We've seen him high kick people, haven't we? We have, yeah. And Thomas is going to have this round as make or break. We've never seen him this big, have we? No, I think it's the biggest we've seen him. Now he's having a fight. This is better. Good shots. You see, you can see he's got talent. You can see he's got stamina. You see he's got a good chin. He just took a good left up there. Vanessa has fought better than I thought he would choose as well. He must be fit to take the shots he's yeah. taken. Without doubt. Long left up, sweeping, sneak uppercut on the middle from Vanessa. The energy, isn't it? It's the, it's the explosiveness he's lacking. He's pushing his shots and clubbing for Neste instead of exploding with his shots. Really still going for it in his fifth round. I mean, he's handily won, hasn't he? And Every but round. You know, but there's other heavyweights out there that would be looking at this and saying, you know, I can take him out. You know? I have seen him use his legs a lot more before. But on this showing, Jules, you know, he, he has to be better. He has to be better than this. So as we come up to the final minute of this, drubbing really and tepid affair, to be honest. Thomas is going to be there to the end. Yeah. Fair play to him, you know. But it's... There's a lot of... Good left body kick. Yeah. That's what I would have liked to have seen he, more. He can do all that. He can do all that. It's just he hasn't got the... He hasn't got the stamina. He hasn't got the explosiveness. It's because the weight's holding him back.
blood on Thomas's face. Yeah. It's, it's not going to do Thomas any harm, this anyway, um, career-wise. It's not going to do Ishmael any harm, career-wise, either. He's won up. it. But I just like to see him in, in better shape. I really would. I was surprised when he came out, to be honest. So coming up to the final seconds of this defence. Seconds away. Oh, there you go then. He's retained his belt, Ismail Azar, but his question marks over. His question marks over his um, his dedication to the sport. You know, fights, fights, fights are won and lost inside the gym. And fights are won and lost inside the kitchen. Not Julie Kitchen, but you know, they are. And I mean, you can see the evidence, can't you? You know, you're not blind, you're none of you are stupid at home. But you can see that this kid has got evident talent, but his dedication in certain areas of the sport leave a lot to be desired. A sharper, more dangerous fighter than Vanessa may hurt Lazar if he's not careful. He's got a good chin. You can see that he has took some shots. You know, I mean, even even the the way he's, he's making him take shots that he doesn't need to. Uh, I'll be fair and I'll be honest. But I hope you've enjoyed Infusion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of three minutes, we have counted the points and we have a winner. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, and still, and fusion champion of the world, Ismail Lazar! So we'll see. Lazar will come out fast. Thompson has to may remain calm. Two very, very big men. One very, very special show. And our final one of the year goes out on a real, real stormer. King Thompson, this is the star. Lazar. Let's see.
it is what it is. It's a shame, but listen, Ishmael is a dangerous, dangerous kid. So the dream of continuing goes on for the dream of snatching this title from this very dangerous kid is in tatters, but you know that's the game, isn't it? Can they extremely... She's, this is, now, here's some proof for you, ladies and gentlemen. Edwin, Edwin Van Oss, the CEO of Infusion, look at it, he's straight with Thompson. He's a decent man, Edwin, and, um, you know, I've been working with him for a while, and I will continue to do so, just for the fact of he's a decent man. And Lazar did what he did. He said he was going to do that, and he completed. Look at that as sportsman. Very, very big hooks. That's the game we're in. That's the game we're in. Look at this, you see, you can't help but this. Decent, decent man. It was a shock, it was a shock. Box. So, we're glad to see Andrew Thompson on his feet, but Ishmael Lazar continues and he faces his opponent that has beaten before next time, Jason Wilness. Sorry, Jafar Wilness. When the fighter of the, the, the night, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, the fighter of the night is Mr. Ismail Lazar. Yeah, so, you know, fighter of the infusion, fighter of the night, given away by the lovely. He's one of them things that just throw you, but he's something else, Ismail Lazar, isn't he? You can stop him. He's an absolute monster when he comes forward with his shots and he's on. His game, he really, really does mean business. A very dangerous fighter indeed. Like I said, he's a very, very nice kid. So we'll see. Commiserations to Andrew Thompson. But he had to try it. He went to the very, very highest peak. and tried his very, very best. So, so we've had a really good Christmas edition. Mr. Andrew Thompson, Mr. Ismael Lazar. So we'll see then. Ademay in the black shorts, the taller of the two. And Ismail, the start, the socks. Now look at the trapezius muscles around the neck and shoulders. Of Lazar. Strong and knee. Yeah, you, you can't knock him out. He's just all neck. I know it looks like he's lost weight. Yeah, which is he it's good. To. He put it on yeah, before, he didn't to, he? Didn't but he? but yeah. people, if you, this, this is the first time you've seen Ishmael Lazar, you'll look at him and think, no, he's so out of shape. But his fitness is really good. His flexibility is just really, I don't know. Yeah, deceiving. I can't think of the word. Deceiving. deceiving. He's used to taller opponents. Gets the head kicks up very easy. When he gets close and let his bombs off, that's when we'll see Adam A. He's got a good record though, you know, 27 wins. Yeah, he's good. He's on five, 23 he just wins. Just slipped there. Doesn't he? Yeah, and he's so. never he's never in a dull fight. The fight with the Jafar Wilmers was because Jafar Wilmers nullified everything he did. Yes. It was a great performance by Jafar, take nothing away from him. But this is redemption for Lazar. Good body kick. Oh, that was nice. Looked like he was looking for the knee through the right hook. Showing nice left kick, isn't he, Lazar? Come on, 
Good movement. Hard leg kick. As Lazar go to the body. He's feeling the pressure, Admai, already of Lazar. You can see him, he's coming to pieces. Yes. Too. Beautiful. Look at that jumping knee from a heavyweight. Crowd are loving his moves. Good from Lazar. This is better, much better. Yeah, he's against a good opponent as well here. Nice right upcut, left hook. He's got thumping, thudding shots, hasn't he? When he throws them, Ala George Foreman, he just has this winging way of throwing them. Not so much, no real snap in them, but he, he's explosive when he lets things off. But he's got clubbing power. Combination, nice. I think he's really worked on his fitness, to be honest. He's been yeah, working he on combinations. Nice. Beautiful right up, got left up from Lazar. Nice good move. Step. That was good skill. Showing class again tonight. The old yeah. man, Lazar is back. I think it's better. I think this absolutely I think this is better from him. Focus, he's thinking, isn't he? He's got a strategy. So, great round one for Ishmael Lazar. Oh, I like that move. It looked like he was going to throw a knee and he threw a right hook. Two totally different things. Yeah, I mean, you know, the jumping, the jumping knee. knee, athleticism shown. Exactly. From Lazar. There was that nice turn, wasn't it? Followed by the yeah, right really nice. Hey, coming up in a moment is Aziz Kawar, the final of a 10,000 euro yeah, tournament. He fought his way, won the semi final earlier in the night in kickboxing talents, and he will be back in the ring just a little bit later. So we'll see him. So, round two then, Lazar in the black and green, short of the two, and Adamay, taller of the two from Germany. Morocco versus Germany here in Antwerp. Oh, look, he's been working on that right upcut and left hook, but he got clipped himself then. Adamay coming out with the jab. Been busier. Chin. But no effect whatsoever. Off. Strong jabs back as well in Lazar's face. Good left hook. So he tried to pull the gloves down then, didn't he? And then yeah. throw a shot. But these shots, oh, they're pounding in, aren't they? We can hear them. They're not light shots connecting. Hard leg kick, long jab from Lazar. Leg kick again from Lazar. It's ambitious throwing the uppercut from such a distance. He is, but he's looking for it. He's been working on that. I think. Oh. Wow, well, the crowd's gone silent the second round as they watch in anticipation. That was a nice greatly. knee. For a little how, yeah, squat, how, man. how can somebody shorter deliver a knee like that? With skill. <laughs> Running shots coming back from Adama. Executor. This is a ring name, strong jab. One two back from Lazar. Oh, that was a big shot. Oh my goodness. This is better. Lazar is not being blocked in any shape or way with the shots he's taken. No, that was a good left up to the body yeah. as well. Adama takes a big gulp of air. Inside like it goes a nice. Oh, that was that. very, very nice. Made it step back. Body shot. Yeah. Great shot. I knew when he went to the body, didn't he? Landed that first one. Yeah. He 
he going to make the count? He's up, but Lazard's going to go for it now. He can smell victory. One more body shot, this kid will go. Trying to fake his way in. Oh, that was a horrible teeth to the face. Big right hand. There, there we you go. go. That was awesome beautiful. Shot. That was a very, very nice shot. We heard that sink in. He's looking at his corner. I think he's broke his ribs. Yeah, there's no way he'd take another one. The star shines again. And the spark on his back, ladies and gentlemen. The spark on his back. The star shines in the midnight sky here. Even though it's not midnight, but I found it, thought it was poetic. And very bright as well Thank tonight. Thank you indeed. In, um, in Antwerp, great shot. Good there to was see a him shot. Back on form. Boom, uppercut. Body shot there was beautiful. Oh, see the pain. Yeah. Just took his breath away. Yeah. It was a superb shot. <laughs> Round the side, uppercut. Beauty. You know, he's got talent, this kid. The only thing I think is he needs to be disciplined in the kitchen. That's the only thing I think, honestly. He's still not reached his potential, his physical potential yet. That's my opinion. That's a good win, you know. That guy had 27 fights, 23 wins. That's a very, very good win for Ishmael Lazar. And the star shines again and he returns. Yeah, and fair play to Admai, he was in it. In, so tall, I tell you what, he's 29, he's 29, Gideon. No, he's had no, hard paper out then, because... Uh, no headbutts, you know. no elbows, no friends in the level back. After well, we've seen Ishmael Lazar knock down the big guys before. Andrew Thompson, that was a nasty knockout, wasn't it? It's not something I enjoyed that one, that was not uh, nice. But, you don't know. enjoy any knockout. No, neither do I, to be fair. But we do shout, though. But I'm... I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued on this one. So am I, JK. Let's see then. Round one. Lazar versus Gideon. Good inside leg kick. Sharp from Ishmael. Yeah. <laughs> the crowd already liking Ishmael Lazar. Strong low kick. Oh, yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. He does it again. Down goes Gideon. You know, his coach said to me he likes to see what the other fighter has got. Listen. He's going to run at him now. Yeah, he'll bomb him out. He'll bomb this guy out. He's on. Oh, strong, strong kick. He, he's had it, hasn't he? He really has. He's on wobbly legs still. He's going to take one more shot and it's going to be over. Really on wobbly legs. Oh, out, out, out like a light. Out like an absolute light. That, that is in the knockout number one. That was what a horrific shot. A knockout. Brilliant. I mean, we hope Gideon's all right, but that was a monster shot. It was perfect. He came forward, Gideon, boom, left up. Lazar knocks him spark out. That's the best knockout. It's, it's got to be in the knockout top five. Oh, my goodness. We hope he's all right. Watch how we come forward. What a Bang. nasty, nasty no, it knockout. No, wasn't, that wasn't the knockout, this was. No, that wasn't the knockout either. He come forward, and this as I timed it absolutely perfect. Now, that's not the knockout either. You'll see it again. Here it is. Bang. That's the best knockout. That was beautiful. I know that, I hope he's all right. Really do. Yeah, he's good, he's good. 
What a knockout. That was a beautiful, beautiful knockout. Yeah, you know what? And like Julie said, we don't like knockouts, but that's part of the game. And Gideon just walked straight into that. And that was an absolute <laughs> good night, Vienna. Definitely better yeah. than the Thompson knockout. Like. Yeah. One shot. Ishmael Lazard's just got so much power, hasn't he? You know, someone, you know, they look at it, they think, he's fat, but you, you know, all that, and oh, he might be a bit, you know, yeah, well, but it's the, it's the rock hard, aren't yeah. Coming up next, two British guys, two British residents, Nakash Khan, who's had an absolute fairy tale story, and Charlie Peters, a fairy tale story too, but one of them is not going to the ball. And we'll see what happens wow. in this. Really on wobbly legs, really on wobbly legs. Yeah, he's still finished. Yeah. I'm not sure how they're going to get him out the, the ring. Yeah. I mean, they came over the African team with hopes and dreams. And you know what? They'll improve from this. There we go. And they'll get better. Ship, look. But, yeah. Nice. That's what I'm saying about Lazar. He's, you know, he's a nice, nice guy. Yeah. But when you've got gloves on and you're across the ring to him, he wants to do you in. Yeah. Bang. That is an absolute, that's the best knockout on Infusion. He is out it's a brilliant knockout. And, you know, see how quick our uh, referee Yoke jumped in he's there? He's a great referee. Yeah. He's one of the best. Yeah, definitely. And, ladies and gentlemen, keep it going. A big round of applause for both men, please. And with an official time of one minute and 15 seconds recorded, uh, your referee has waved the contest over. Therefore, your winner by way of knockout, fighting out of the red corner, is Ishmael on the And show Davis your appreciation Davis. for our runner-up, Gideon Ogenyi Agaba. He's got such a friendly face, isn't he? And now, please welcome to the blue corner from Greece, Atha Kersopi. Atha Kersopi said, making his way to the ring, unknown quantity to me, ladies and gentlemen, 21 fights. 16 wins, five losses, and four KOs. Uh, yeah, that's all I know, really, I'll be honest. 26 years of age. And he trains at Majiro Gym when he's here. Majiro, a very good gym indeed. But we'll see. Looks well built. Looks strong. Let's see. He's worked it out tonight. Oh he really oh, has. He's a young man, very, very, very upset of his last fight, so he's out for redemption. And now, please welcome to the red corner from Morocco, Ishmael Uza. Making his way to the ring is Ishmael, the star Lazar. Last time I fought. Martin Pakas. Uh, and losing that on points. What he lacks in cosmetic looks, he does not lack in tenacity. Upset him last time, apparently, by not saying he got it every round, but that's the way commentary works. But nevertheless, he's back and he means business. We will see. Ishmael, the star, Lazar, one of the figureheads of Infusion. Lazar! And when he's on form, he's an absolute monster. We will see. Ishmael, the star, Lazar. Trains at the Mickey Benazus. Ladies gym. and gentlemen, introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner. He brings a proud record of 21 fights with 16 wins. Four of those wins coming by way of knockout with five losses. He's an ISKA world champion from Greece. Please welcome Atha Kasapi. <laughs> and across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He brings a record of 33 fights with 29 wins. 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout. 
with only two defeats and two draws. He's a former Infusion heavyweight champion of the world from Morocco. It's Ishmael, the star Lazar. Now, judging by the look across and his face. This is brought to you and proudly sponsored by oh, Nico Fight Gear. And this Infusion Rules bout will take place in the heavyweight division. And this bout will be contested over three three minute rounds in the event of a draw. There will be one more deciding round. And judging by the look across his face, he means business. And this is not often he does this. When he does mean business, he does the business, trust me. So we'll see. The Greek, Atha, Kasapis. And Ishmael Lazar looks absolutely cold. I've never seen him like this. Let's see. Three three-minute rounds of heavyweight action. Former world champion Ishmael, the star Lazar. Out to mean business. Dynamite in his hands. He really has. Like that. Surprising speed for a, a man of his size. Kasapis already feeling this, I believe. You can hear that from here. It echoed round the auditorium. This is already him when he can be. What everyone knows. Surprising speed, honestly. Doesn't look like a fighter. Doesn't act like one either outside the ring. Ominously just walking forwards. Short, really big shoulders, so hard to hurt if you hit him. It just seems to be just, his head seems to be just into his neck. His whole body is just thick and strong. Good long right hand. Need to see something back for him. Atha, he's already felt the weight of. He smells our shots. See, he's had the moves and what he can do. And this is the talent he has. And maybe in his last fight out, he got upset with a few things and this has got him back into a more vicious, some menacing, Mindset. There's no doubt in his talent. Overhand right. He's a pushing a little bit quicker. It's ambitious that was. Putting his head down. That's dangerous. He's worried him about the knee. High kick. All the way up there. And already, you can see that Arthur. Sapis is feeling this. Just needs to push in, doesn't he, with his feet? That's it. Sapis needs to cause some sort of. Great combination. Just needs to move his feet in with them. Put the distance down. What a good first round for Lazar. And it's surprising, you know. It's a bit like Mark Hunt, isn't it? A little bit smaller than Mark Hunt. It's like a Mark Hunt version, you know, from the UFC. The former K1 star, he just rumbles in and just dusts you with a shot. And it causes massive problems. Atha needs to start scoring here. 
body kicks or the push kicks or something. He's just getting walked down all the time. And you know what? It's good to see Lazar like this out to prove a point. You know? Let's see. Round two then of a scheduled three three minute heavyweight action. Bit of Moroccan magic as the star Ishmael Lazar fights. Round two. The Greek Kasapis. So he needs to push in, doesn't he? And cut the rain. Cut the when well, you got power like that, you don't have to rush. Sweet left uppercut. Nice left hook to the body. Beautiful knee. Kapsapis is in real trouble here. Nice left kick off the back foot. Got power like that, you can look. Nice combinations. Good, that's a short left hook. Good chin though from Kasapis. He's proving tough. Starting to enjoy this now. Maybe getting used to the power of Lazar. Sweet. Left uppercut just slipped to the side. He really needs to push in now, doesn't he? You know, bang the leg kick in. We've seen twist from there when he has his arm over. Just twist Kasapis. Left hook on the inside. Kasapis needs to start punching back, throwing long shots. Touches the chin of Kasapis. Left kick to the body. Hard right hand as he comes in. Kasapis needs to throw his own combination. Caught with the right hand there, Lazar. Switching southpaw and orthodox. Kasapis. It's one minute left of this second round. And here the shots going in. Big overhand right from Kasapis. Starting to get ambitious now, Kasapis, with his own shots. The third shot. Ishmael. He's a third shot. If he throws the third shot. I think it will land. So he throws two things at once. See? That's better. Better eye catching at the end of the round. Get some of the action then. It's a nice body kick there from Kasapis. When he puts things together, you know, with a big man walking like that, with the power that he's got, when he throws combinations on, it's very difficult to defend against. And also, because of the power, it's very difficult to uh, take, of course. But nevertheless, I would like to see him throw three or four more. With the size of him, it is difficult to throw a combination of punches and kicks and threes and fours, even if you're at a lighter weight, so God knows what it's like being a heavyweight. So we'll see. <laughs> Round three then. The star Lazar. This is Asa Kasapis. Let's give, give an account of himself, really, so far. Take 
this shot, man. Really can. Bizarre. Anyone will ever break that chin of his. And combinations going in. Sharp one back from Kasapis. Ominous is following Kasapis round. Good chin, this guy. Sometimes when you got that much power and like Ishmael and you're knocking people out, this are better. This is much better. Back comes Kasapis though. Nothing wrong with his bravery. Big left up, overhand right. Got attention of Kasapis, didn't it, that one? Just push his feet in, you understand what I mean? Just push his feet in a little bit. And we smell that trying to cause counters. Taking some good shots, this guy, as well, Kasapis. Getting the clash of heads there. Shots exchanged. See the third shot. Tyler's got skills and trickery for a you know, little big man. He has. Big gulps of air. Moving all that frame around these two. Good sharp overhand right. Got the better of the exchange there, didn't he? Yeah, so there you go then. Big shots going, swap forward, both chins tested. Nothing wrong with the hearts. But that thing's to work on, obviously, with everybody. The Moroccan magic shines again. We'll see. He's given a good account of himself, though, didn't he? Kasapis took some big shots. Celebrities, VIPs, the only thing that matters is a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, fall the rise, represent your country and claim your So we'll see. You know, you've got to admit, when Lazar is on form, he's awesome. I'd like to see him just throw a little bit more. You know, throw a third shot. You know, and he's a force because he's hard to move. He's got a rock hard chin. He can punch, he's got talent. You know, and don't, don't miss it. Don't let things fool you by looking at him. Because he is always, always dangerous up to the final bell. Come in. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both of these men after three hard fought rounds of action. And at the end of those three completed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a split decision in favour of your winner, fighting out of the red corner, it's go, Ishmael, the star, Lazar. I thought, I thought he won that, I thought Ishmael won that handily, but yeah. And show your appreciation for our game runner-up, Atta Kasapi. It's a very, very, and it's a back to the winning ways now, isn't it? Back to gaining confidence, you know, because it does get shaken off you a little bit.